Coverage on this story tonight, Leah Lynch, I had spoke with a woman who was at the concert, and Dave Delosier talked with a former SWAT officer on how they learn from tragedies like this one. Let's start with Leah in our news center. Leah, what are you hearing? Chaos. That's how these people describe the scene. Haunting sights and maybe even worse, sounds they won't soon forget. It was so chilling. Suzanne Dickman is a Wisconsin native and former Madison resident now living in Las Vegas. Right across the street from where the worst mass shooting in U.S. history happened last night. So here, I'm going to turn this around. This is the scene today from Suzanne's driveway. So this, and they're still parked here. These are the buses from like the band members and stuff. Where she was listening to Jason Aldean's concert last night. And then if you go like this, there's Mandalay Bay. That is where gunfire erupted. <laughs> The same moment Suzanne had walked up to snap a picture outside the concert. I just kept running and I just, I knew from the sound that it was going to be bad because it was just nonstop. It was just chaotic and then it sounded like everything was coming from everywhere. You just didn't know where it was safe. Concert vendors Spencer and Cindy Davis were inside the front gate at their booth when it happened. It was like muffled and echoing. Like at first you thought it was like a sound system problem or maybe like fireworks. It's that sound of rounds going off into the crowd that still sticks with the couple. We were running away and got in our truck. You could still hear it driving down the street. Yeah, and just one of those things where, it, I mean, it sounded like it was, you know, coming from everywhere. You know, it was like it was falling. It was crazy. The Davises still in disbelief today as they plan their return to the Midwest. Suzanne feels the same. Gets you a little emotional. So it's starting to kick in a little bit because there are a lot of people that lost their lives here last night. Now the Davises, along with Suzanne, were not hurt and thankfully neither were any of their friends and family. The couple says a big reason for that, security. The guards were calm and helpful in directing people how to get out as quickly as possible. Well, some very, very difficult moments to watch. Leah Lynch in our news center. Leah, thank you. And